Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside The Knight, the solitaire zombie attack board game. This is a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. Well, one look at this cover on the White Dog website and I knew I had to get this game. Night of the Living Dead solitaire game? Hell yeah. Like I've said before on the channel, zombies are a guilty pleasure of mine and it's a weak spot. Them and werewolves. Any game with either of those in it that looks remotely interesting to me, I'm going to pick up. But this one right here, the first thing I will say, not just the subject and the title, which definitely alludes to Night of the Living Dead, not only that is what attracted me, but man, this cover is fantastic. I gotta give a shout out to Jonathan Carnell. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. What a great cover this is. And from what I understand, this lead zombie on the cover here is actually his dad that he used as the model basis for creating this. And then one of the zombies in the back is him. So. We're not going to point out anybody that we think it is that it would be him, but my guess is that one right there. If I'm right, hey, that's great. If I'm wrong, sorry, John, I didn't mean to uh, disrespect your artwork, but man, that's some fantastic art here on the cover. So let's take a look at the back of the box and see what this game's all about. It is a warm evening in a small Midwestern town in the summer of 1952. You control a group of seven terrified fugitives fleeing a widespread outbreak of zombies. Your group has sought refuge in an abandoned home. The occupants of the home likely have fled earlier upon hearing news on the radio of the advancing ghouls. As night falls, the menacing creatures have arrived at the home and are outside trying to get in. The night is a fast play solitaire board game. There are 16 turns in a game, starting at dusk and ending at dawn. You win the game by surviving until daylight using your wits, found items, and luck to save yourself from the predatory undead creatures. And game components, we get one 22 by 17 inch map, a 16 by 21 one inch square grid map of the house and surrounding yard, 88 counters, an eight page example of playbook, quick reference guide, double sided quick reference sheet, and one 16 page rule book. It is obviously for one player being a solitaire game, takes about one to two hours play, ages 13 and up, solitaire suitability is nine, and the complexity is listed as four. So let's take a look inside and see what we get. We have our counter sheet, dig the black and white style. Our rule book. Oh, this is tight fit, I'm just gonna dump it all out. Our example of play. The quick reference sheet. The turn track and the surrounding area map, and then we have the map itself. So let's set up the map and take a closer look at the game. And here's a look at the map that comes with the game. I really dig the George Romero Night of the Living Dead classic zombie vibe here with the black and white. You've got the vehicle in the front, you got your front porch all the way from the front of the house all the way through to the back on the back porch in the pantry, and at the top right you have the tool shed. Around the sides of the map you have these different numbered boxes and this is where you're going to roll your D6 and place any new zombie spawns in those boxes as they converge on the house. But really dig the Night of the Living Dead vibe here. Great attention to detail. It sets a definite mood that makes me want to sit down and play it right now. Next, we'll take a look at the player aids that come with the game. First one is the quick reference sheet. Top right, we have the turn sequence. And then all of the steps of the different phases are laid out for you under the sequence of play. On the back, we have set up for the humans as well as the zombies and other items, and then a listing of the different items that you're going to be able to get in the game. On the next sheet, we have the turn track, which gives all 16 turns in the game, and then a breakdown of the different areas on the map. Now we'll take a look at the counter sheet that comes with the game. You have the human characters are at the top, including dead counters, so that way when they die, you can mark them as dead. And then, really cool, they can reanimate, so you have reanimated human character counters down below that. Then you have your generic zombie counters and then the different items that you'll be using in the game, including boards for boarding up windows and then doors locked and broken doors for noting the status of different doors in the house. Now we'll take a look at the rules that come with the game. This is a 16 page black and white rule book, which keeps on theme for the game. The front way of the table of contents listing out all the rules and their associated page numbers. Inside of the front cover, we have the introduction, which gives you a breakdown of the components, an overview of them. The map breaks down all the counters over here so you can understand what each of them is and all the different information on them. 
Then we have setting up the game here on page three. Humans, items, zombies, other things, turn sequence, and then the zombie arrival phase on page five. We have other bits of information on the side, as you can see here. Then we get to the zombie action phase. Zombie actions, what do they do? Cost of the zombie actions. You have your breaker zombies. They're going to be breaking down doors and windows. Movement restrictions and clarifications. Breaking a door or window. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Calculating total combat strength. Highest total is the winner. Then we have an example of combat here. Ben and a machete. Let's say roll of three equals ten points. Live human action phase breaks all the steps down for that. We got your shotgun over there. Shooting combat. Boarding up windows and doors. Dawn breaks victory level. So you can get an idea of what score you get when dawn breaks. If you're still alive, you can see what victory level you get. Then you have your scenarios, quick game. Set up there, you have take the house, the Coopers, no chance, and then you can make your own stories. Then you also have optional rules here. The dark yard, better shooting, combat assistance, unreliable weapons, random event phase, and then dodge character attributes. And then we have two players with one player as a zombie player, two players with a hidden hero, and then anything goes. And then the design notes here on page 15, and those carry over to the back of the rules on page 16. And lastly, we'll take a look at the illustrated example of play, eight pages long. It's really cool that they included this, which is gonna give you a breakdown of all the steps, and following along, you'll be able to much better grok the game. You can see here, it's got all the illustrated examples, all the steps, what happens, the die rolls, everything is done for you here, so that way you can much better understand all the steps involved in the game. And all the way through, to page eight at the back of the example of play. And that is a look at everything you get inside of The Night, the Solitaire Zombie Attack board game. This is a game designed by Michael Kennedy and published by White Dog Games. Like I said, when I first saw this on the website, I was like, it's a zombie game, it's Night of the Living Dead. That's an insta-buy for me. Well, I picked that up, I got Vultures as well, and both of them came in at the same time. I wanted to share a look inside with you guys if there are any other fellow zombie fans out there that are not familiar with White Dog Games and weren't aware of this game. If you're not aware of White Dog Games, go over and check out their website. they got a lot of great games. i got a bunch of their games, and I've had a lot of fun with them over the years. This one looks like a lot of fun. Big callbacks to George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, which started the whole zombie craze, and it's gone on now with for years with... The Walking Dead, which has made zombies become basically mainstream. But really neat. Looks like it goes back to basics. The zombies are the slow plotting terror that you get to deal with and you're stuck in this house. Going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out on the table. And I really love the inclusion of the eight-page example of play that goes into detail and really does help you understand how to go through all the steps of play. It doesn't look like it's a difficult game to understand anyway, but it's great that he included the examples of play. Great job by Mike doing that. Components, fantastic. As always, we expect from Blue Panther, they always do a great job. So looking forward to getting this one on the table and seeing if I can survive the night. Well, I hope that helps you guys out if you'd be curious about this one. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.